Mistral AI launched its first multimodal aka Bextral 12B. At September 11, Mistral AI tweeted this magnet link for a model that they dropped new. No names, no benchmark, no hiving at all. So what is Bextral 12B? Bextral 12B is the first multimodal from Mistral AI. It's created on top of the Nemo 12B model with an added 400 million parameter vision adapter. This model is only available both on the torrent link on Twitter from Mistral or Hagenface, which of course with the Apache 2 lines means open source, you can use it however what you like. This model is 12 billion parameter, 14 layers, and 400 million parameters for a vision adapter. And I'm gonna leave the entire article to read about the details of it and how to download it and use it. Link for it on description. Before we test it, let's take a look to its benchmark that provided by Mr. AI itself. So far, there is no page about this model until now on their website. But this image, I got it from an article on Medium. I will leave the link for it in the description. And I think they fake the sum of the Quint 2 VL7B model to make the Bextoral 12B look much better. And as I can see here, the MMU is here for Quint 70B. It's 47.6, but in the Quint 2 benchmark is 154.1, which is higher even than the benchmark provided by Bextoral 12B itself. Was this intentional or it's just a mistake? We don't know yet, but we have to wait until they provide more information about this model. Sophia Yang, Mr. Head of Developer Relations, said that the Bigster 12B will be soon available for testing on Mr. Chatbot and the ABI services platform. And I actually, as I'm making this video, they didn't do it yet. Maybe in a few days, we will have it up on the chat of Mr. I have nine questions testing different ability of this model, like the describing image, what the OCR for for handwriting and mass and coding and animals and counting, detecting persons in image, also translation and meme, and finally domain specific questions, which is the last one. And I have two other questions here, but they're not that important, so I kind of remove them from the test. And I have to be honest, before we started, this model is kind of very new, so it's very hard to get your hands on. So the only place that I can test this model online for free without downloading this model on my machine was Hagen Face is base available called Mistral Bextral Demo. In my opinion, either download this model on your local machine if you can run it, or wait for Mistral Chatbot to integrate it inside it. With that, let's start asking our questions. For my first question is about this image. It's AI generated image like Titans and there is Llama and a kid and it's like dystopian kind of fantasy movie. I upload the image I told it, describe to me what is in this image. And the image, the answer was almost perfection. I will give it nine out of 10. The image is, the image portray, portrays the surreal, the image portrays a surreal and surreal and dramatic scene set in an urban environment. In the foreground, a child seen riding on the back of a white llama. He's not actually riding the llama, but more of sitting in front of the llama and standing in front of it. The child wearing a hat and appear to be looking ahead with determination. I don't see any hats over here. Maybe you can see it. I'm not sure. The llama stand on a barren dusty land. Escape, correct. In the background, a large city skyline visible filled with towering skyscraper and buildings shrouded in a haze of dust or smoke, suggesting a post-apocalyptic post or dystopian atmosphere. The sky is dark and uh, stormy, adding to the overall sense of foreboding, which is correct also. This is perfect. Above the city, a several large humanoid, humanoid figures are floating. These figures have muscular build and appear to be made 
out of stone or rock-like material. They are Overall, the image combines elements of fantasy, science fiction, and drama to create powerful and evocate visual narrative, which is perfect. I will give it 9 of 10 for describing what inside this image. The titans here, I call them the stone titans, and skyscraper correct, the smoke and dust, the guy. And the only thing that I got it wrong is the child seen riding on the back of the white lemma, which is not correct. But the rest, is perfect. For my second question, it's this for OCR and handwriting. I think that most of the multimodal that detect images should have a good OCR, and the result of it detecting what is written is amazing. So, for the result of this, it's fantastic. This, the answer that it gave me today is Thursday, October 13th. And go on, and it's. I checked it out with the real answer that it should give me over here, and it's perfect. So, for the second question, it's perfect success. So, the next step is testing it for mass. I have here a simple equation that it should result a simple number. I told about this image, I told it solve it's this mass equation, and it tried to simplify it 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, 2 times 3 equals 6. Then it tried to divide the number and now got one and it gave me a final answer which boxed one. So for this question, the answer should different be depending on the rule. Some school right now will give you will be one, which is correct. But because the correct answer according to this mass equation it should be nine because the historical order of this operation from before 1917 is slightly different. But we'll count it correct for mass it's right now it's doing fine here a question that i didn't think it will be able to answer but i got it correct for open source model is fantastic and i upload the image for keanu reeves and ask it can you detect the actor in this image and it gave me a perfect answer so this is just fantastic so i'm gonna test it in coding give it this image this image is just a sketch for uh, HTML and CSS, and I'm gonna see the result of the code after it's done generating. This is the result that I got. It's completely ugly. It doesn't have to do anything with the sketching that I gave it to. And the question was really easy, actually. Convert this image into an HTML page using Tailwind, CSS, and JavaScript. Use dark colors. And this is what I got filled in this question. One of the questions that I wanted to test is the ability to translate language to English. So I uploaded this image, which is mean konnichiwa, which is hello, the only word that I know from watching anime. And I asked it to translate this text into English. And I got a response by Japanese also, and I tried to translate this word, and it means police. For some reason, I have no idea why, but this is another fail. So I have here a question to know if it's able to detect and count animals in Im images. And all I ask name the animal in this image and it got five out of six correct. I have here three dogs, one small gray cat and one rabbit and green parrot over here. It got the dogs correctly, named them. And here a rabbit with long ears sitting upright. It trying also to detect the location of them. Kitten with a gray four and green eyes that's perfect puppy with a black white and brown coat yeah it's correct not kind of it's correct a chihuahua with light brown coat which is perfect so the only thing that it missed i am not sure why it is a barret maybe it didn't detect it for some reason and here i know this animal are arranged closely together creating a diverse and charming group so it's almost had it but not complete success I will say it's almost not a fail or a success. All right, this is the most hilarious response that I got from the model so far. Not only it's wrong, but it doubling down on how wrong it is, but in a funny way. This image is the Ugandan Knuckles. Back then when memes were funny, this guy was the king. If you watch any memes back then, the guy behind, do you know the way? That's him. So I upload the image, I ask it, do you know what this meme is famous for? And yes, this image 
feature character from animated series SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay. <laughs> The character is known as Blinkton, the owner of the Shum Bucket, a rival restaurant to Krusty Krab, where SpongeBob Bork. Actually, he keep going on explaining who is Blinkton, and the background of this image is a blue sky with some clouds, which is correct. And here is what make it funny, which is typical for underwater scene sitting for the show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is funny. I didn't expect it, this. But it's fail. But I mean, it's funny. I have to say that. This is the last important question that I have. The last remaining questions I will ask is not that important, but it's fun to ask. It's a domain specific question. I ask it about this image. What is this defect in the wall and how can I solve it? It's about construction. The defect shown in this image is large, irregular crack in a wall. This type of damage can occur due to various reasons, such as a structural issue, state limit of building, moisture damage, or poor construction practice. So to solve this, I define the cause, clean the area, apply a batch, sand, and paint. After you're done with basically fill the crack, monitoring the area. By the following steps, you can effectively repair the crack in the wall and address the underlying cause of the damage. If this is not a perfect answer, I don't know what. I actually took this entire text, I sent it to one of my friends in construction. He's a German construction engineer and he's a very good one also. He told me this is a very good answer, but that he missed the cost and all the stuff. But it's all right, I didn't ask for a cost or what it required material to fix it so for this question it's past and success okay this is the questions after we're done we have the first two is success the coding failed then two another success in mass equation and detecting the actor then in the counting animals in the image who and detecting them it got five out of six which is a made it almost it can be also success then the Japanese translation failed. Then do you know the meme of Ukandan Knuckles, which is also failed. And finally, one of the unexpected ones that got success is the domain-specific questions about the wall crack. There is two other questions that I didn't show you guys, and one of them got right and the other got wrong. And it's kind of silly questions, to be honest. The first one, I asked it about who is this guy? Basically, what video game is this? And it got it correct. It told me this is Doom from Doom Eternal, but it got the weapons wrong, which is the chainsaw, which is, there is no evidence of the chainsaw. This is the sword that it got in the Doom Eternal 2. And the other one, which got it wrong, is I asked it to de detect the enemy show in this image. And it couldn't do that at all, so it was failed. And there is also mistral pixtrollcom which is a website that I found that promise coming soon. I use using this model in this website and it will I think it will be for free. The overall experience with this model, it was positive more than negative. I feel it's a very good start for a very small model for Mistral AI. I am not sure if this is intentional or not, but going to it seem after the release of the Bixteral model, they announced they are releasing the Quen 2.5 in the end of this week, Thursday. So it's very soon. I'm going to also create a comparison between the Bixteral and the Quen 2.5 when it come out. And stay tuned to see it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss this video. And see you in the next one.